One thing I didn't show you how to do when you are setting up your Moodle server on your Mac laptop is to set up the cron, which is a application that runs in the background on your computer and does all of the important updating and grading and all sorts of background tasks that is required by the Moodle LMS and it must be running for it to work correctly. So we do need to set up the cron to do that. There isn't a simple way, even with Mount Pro to do it, you have to do it the long way. So what we first of all do is go to Mount Pro and we have a look at which version we're using uh, of PHP. So on the left hand side in Mount Pro, choose, uh, we've got hosts, we're using Moodle 4.0 demo, which we do need to know that as well. But let's go down to PHP and we need to write down 7.4.21. So make a note of that, 7.4.21. Also, go back to your hosts, choose the host where your website is actually sitting. In our case, our Moodle server is on Moodle 4.0 demo. I need that document root name just there, and I'll show you why in a sec. So we're gonna look at both of these at the same time, quite simply, because um, we're up to setting up our cron. We've done everything else on our list, so we just had that one last thing, which is set up the cron. What you'll need to do is go down to your terminal, which you may need to find that in your applications, but it's called the terminal. Open up the terminal, it looks a bit like this. And you need to type in cron tab space dash E, which is to edit the cron tab and press enter. And that will open up the cron tab. Yours will have nothing in it. If this is the first time you've done this, we need to press the letter I for insert. We go right down to the very last character at the end of the line. So we'll just jump there and I'm doing this using the arrow keys to keep it simple for you. I won't give you any extra commands or anything. Just get yourself there, press enter. And we basically copy in what I've got written above there, but we make sure that we have PHP and the number that you've got on your version. So remember back in MAMP Pro, I said 7.4.21. Yours may be a different number than that. You may have one of these other versions. So you need to make sure that that number matches. So down here we'll put in the two, three, four. And that's just telling the cron to run each of these tasks uh, basically every minute of every day, of every hour, every month. That's all those characters at the start do. Now we need this bit here, which tells us where PHP is running. And make sure you update the version numbers to match your version. Like I said back here, 7.4.21. If yours is different, you'll need to make yours different. Now the last one is this part here this bit of text here. This comes from your host. We've got here users, in my case, users, ricochet sites and Moodle 4.0 demo. So I need to make sure that matches. So Moodle 4.0 demo, put the rest of that in, sites. Now yours might not be ricochet, yours could be, well, will be something different, definitely might be ricochet. And then we've got Moodle 4.0, demo. So that's all the part that has to be added in where you will put your own name that goes in there because you won't have Ricochet, you'll have something else in users. You'll have something else here unless you use Moodle 4.0 demo as your site. So make sure that that all matches this one here. Users, matches, users, Ricochet sites, Moodle 4.0 matches. Then after Moodle 4.0 demo, which again is my custom one, I need to put in admin slash CLI slash cron.php. So that just needs to match this one here that I gave in the one above. So we've got middle 4.0 demo slash admin slash CLI slash cron.php. At the end of that, we press escape, it takes us out of the insert. So you would have noticed the insert disappear. Then we press colon. WQ, which is right and quit. We press enter and that basically saves that cron file. We then need to go back to Mount Pro and restart the server. So back in Mount Pro, we'll go to hosts and we'll choose stop and start again. So we're just restarting it all to make sure that that change has been implemented. We then go to our website. So to do that, we just go to our Moodle 4.0 demo host click open and it opens it for us. We go to site administration and we're looking for a thing called tasks. So if we search tasks, scroll right down to schedule tasks, 
it shows here that these have never been run yet and it tells us when they're going to run next. Refresh that and scroll down again. You'll see that some of these tasks have started running. Now these tasks run at different times. This one here was run at 11.20, which is right now. And it'll tell us when the next run is going to be, which will be in 11.20, 11.30 in 10 minutes time. If you scroll down a bit further, you'll see this task has been run as well. So as long as it shows that there is some task being run, that means it's doing its job. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's all we had to do to add our cron into our local server for us to be able to run Moodle on our local Mac laptop. After that, now you can start actually using Moodle. Nice and easy, nice and simple. That's all we had to do. I hope you found this useful. My name is Chris Richter. Check out the courses in the description to do with Moodle development and also to do with learning how to use Moodle. So there's a teacher's course that holds like seven hours worth of videos on how to do all different things in relation to the Moodle LMS. I hope you found it useful and I'll talk to you soon in the next video.